Hey Mum has divided opinion online after asking if it's OK to display overtly sensual photos of herself at home. In the post, she said she looked smoking hot, adding that the photos aren't tacky or sleazy. I love the way you change your voice for overtly sensual. Yes. Yeah. You went all like overtly should. sensual. <laughs> uh, while some people commended the single mum and described it as empowering, others weren't so convinced, with one commentator calling the art cringy. Yeah, well, so should we be able to display sexy photos at home? TV presenter and former glamour mod Nicola McLean says there's nothing wrong with it, adding that displaying sexy photos sends out a positive message to children. While author and broadcaster Anna Mae Manga thinks it is pure vanity. Do you want to start? Give us your pros. Have you got your own photos displayed? On no, I don't have my own photos displayed. Personally, I do think that that would be quite vain. But that's because I did it as a job and as a career, and I just think there's a difference. I think when you've got, you know, a mum who's on mum's net, you know, she's done it to feel back to herself again, to feel sexy. I'm all for it. Like, mm. I've never hid my pictures from my children. I, they know I was a page three girl. I've been on the show debating mm. page three. I had a brilliant time being a page three girl. I loved being a glam model. I'd still do it now if I wasn't too old. I, I have no problem with my kids seeing a woman's body in, in its natural way. I have no problem. I think it's, like, the best thing that they could see in, in like, you know, in a world where there's a lot of bad things to see. I, don't, I cannot understand how people would have a problem with it. I've got loads of pictures up in the front room of supermodels. There's a topless supermodel in my front room. Is I've there? got no problem. Yeah, a black and white picture. How old are your kids? 17 and 13. And they have all their friends around. No one's ever even commented on it. Do they That's... come around regularly? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I've... not surprised. I've got Hugh Hefner <laughs> in my house as well. I, honestly, I just I don't, I don't understand. Okay. Oh, so, there you go, there you go. Anime it's Man. It's tacky on another level. <clears throat> I have to say, in my house, I've got six grandchildren, and a lot of them, they sleep in my bed sometimes when they come over and they nap, or in their own house, they sleep in their parents' bed. Imagine them waking up and looking at their mother's bum cheeks. I mean, who needs it? My kids and my grandkids would rather look at... But they might look at them for real. But, but Anna, every they, day they, of the they week. might look at them for real, like mum and dad wandering in and out of the bathroom. They may be... Yeah, that's different, though. This woman is saying she's smoking hot. She's wearing, like, scanties, and it's sexualising your home in a way... I mean, fine, have a dungeon, have a sex dungeon in your utility that's, room, do whatever you like. That Just is lock so it ridiculous. Just and keep the There's kids. There's a big difference kids. between a sex dungeon and... I'm pictures. saying that you're that introducing is... sex into your home and children, young children, don't need to see it. If... Keep them innocent. Why do you need to introduce them to your bum cheeks? I, I... mean, why in a, in a pair of scanty knickers? My, so my boys have no, like, they wouldn't be looking for anything online that they shouldn't be because I've just had an... A, I've just run an open house where I don't keep them... I keep them age-appropriate. I don't think that those pictures aren't age-appropriate. OK, I, well, I maybe have... not your pictures, but imagine if your youngsters went to somebody else's house and their mum was in the, the room where they're playing and having fun, you know, in a bra and knickers on the wall as a photo. Or, I think as well, what about if it was the dad? That's I wonder even... what imagine, I would just think. imagine, yeah. Um, you know, there feels like it's a little bit of a double standards. What would we all be saying if, if a daughter went round to... eight-year-old went round to play and, and and the dad had a sort of semi-naked picture of himself well, in the you, area. You get loads of, like, um, you know, David Beckham's done it, Cristiano Ronaldo doing the, the um, underwear campaigns. If a dad had done an underwear campaign and he loved the picture and it was in, I would not have a problem. Well, mm. a man in boxer shorts, you go to a beach, you see worse. Like, I, I would have no problem. If the mum or the dad was walking around in sexy underwear in front of the children, massive difference. Yeah. If they've got a picture on the wall, it, I I, I cannot oh, about, understand. It, it boils down to vanity, actually. This woman is extremely vain. She knows that she's not doing right. I mean, I suggest that she gets some tea towels and coasters printed with her bare body on it. She, it, might... she really well, wants to share funnily it. Enough. flyers, flyers for the neighbourhood. You know, but keep it to herself. But she's how do obviously you know she's vain? It might, it might come from an insecurity. You know, I did... She's not that insecure. She's obviously I... using to rev up her sexual partners on her bedroom wall. And it's her kids that is, need to be away is, from it. That is such a... a, a 
like an old fashioned way of thinking. Uh, not like, at all. I was a page three girl. I did it to earn a living. Mm. I didn't do mm. it for totally any different. other reason. That's totally it's different. Totally different. Trusting it in a child's face. It's not lots, mm. lots of people getting in touch. All very pro this. Peter says, My wife had a boudoir shoot. We have them on the lounge in our wall, a wall in our lounge. Fab says, I did a shoot recently. Had bad confidence. It made me feel so much exactly better about yeah. myself. I'm 52. Felt bad about my age. But it all changed after the shoot. I'm much more confident about myself. She doesn't display them for everyone to see. They are in her bedroom. That's right. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, Lots of people saying they've done it, but they'll put it you in my bedroom. You said that you're not, in, you're not I'm happy with them in a bedroom. Private, you said you wasn't happy in a bedroom. If I did so it, I'd put them inside the wardrobe so or I'd have you, it in, on a, a little frame ago, inside said, my drawer. You said a minute ago that it shouldn't be in a, wall, in a bedroom because your grandkids sleep in... For other sleeping. people to see it. But if it's in a bedroom, you've now just said that it's OK in a bedroom. But can you not conceal things in your bedroom? Do you not have a back on your wardrobe door? Does if you conceal it, does it make you feel a bit more seedy? If not concealing not, it if it's, it's in private. Like a little I mean, there's all sorts of things that adults do in private that they wouldn't share with their children, and yeah. this is definitely mm. one of them. I think it's been fascinating. I've just made a note of sex dungeons in the utility. <laughs> I think that that might be something that Mrs. Shepherd and I just lock the discuss. doors. Do what you please, but lock your doors. As long as you can do I the hope washing. We've made Lorraine Kelly blushed. <laughs>